Welcome back. Our focus today is making our instruments sing. And that sounds um, very airy-fairy and out there and how do we actually approach that. But I often get asked or am told, I played the song, I learned the song that you taught me, I went home and it doesn't sound like you're recording or it doesn't sound like you or my fiddle doesn't sound like your fiddle. So there's a few points in there that I want to tease out. One is that no fiddle will sound alike. Just like my voice is very different than my friend's voice or my partner's voice, we are each unique in that sense. <coughs> Excuse me. But all of our instruments can sing. And that is what the violin and the fiddle were designed to do. They're meant to mimic the human voice. They're not meant to sound um, automatistic. They're not meant to sound like a robot or as if we're thinking in our head, A1, A2, A3. They're not meant to sound as if we chop a note and stop and don't connect our bow. So again, Airy Fairy, it's really great to say, my fiddle is meant to sing. How do I do that? And this is where we go from Airy Fairy to practical. So I want you to focus on singing this week. And I want you to record yourself. So take whatever device you have, if you have a, a tablet, a phone, um, your computer, an old tape recorder, take whatever you've got, record yourself, and put no expectation on yourself. You're not saying, I want to sing. Just record yourself playing. Come back to it 15 minutes later, hit play, and ask yourself, does my fiddle sing when I play? And here's what I'm getting you to ask yourself. When you think of how the violin is made and how our bow works with the strings to create the vibrations, the circular motion of the string. So the easiest way you can see the circular motion of the string is the G string. As you draw your bow across, you should see the vibration of the G string because it's our loosest string. Okay, if you are using a straight bow over the F holes, so I'm at a perfect 90 degree angle over my F holes and I draw that bow down and I sink into the bow, whether it's a down bow or I push into the bow as it's an up bow, and I keep that motion of the string ringing. So I don't choke it, right? I don't apply so much pressure that it stops the string. And that might sound like over-exaggeration, but think of it this way. We've all heard that. So that's essentially a dead string. We're not allowing the string to rotate and resonate. So the practical advice, I'm jumping around a bit, I apologize, is place the bow over the F-holes, keep your bow absolutely straight at a 90 degree angle. If you were to line that up with your body, a perfectly straight bow is bowing straight in front of your belly button and then drawing it right back again. So you're lining up your, I'm patting my tummy, you're lining up your bow with your belly button, straight extension out, straight back. Think of it this way, if we're in a fiddle orchestra, and you have your partner to your right, and you bow like this. First of all, your your bow won't draw straight across the string if I pull back from my elbow. Do you see that angle? It also cuts my tone. No singing happening, but I've also lost a friend because somebody's getting elbowed. So that 90 degree angle, that straight bow is so important. And here's why. What you're wanting to do as you depress, sink into that bow, push into that bow, and keep the tone going. So keep your bow moving. Don't come to full stops. You're creating the vibration of the string. It's turning round and round and round. It's vibrating against the bridge, which is engaging your sound post. And that's creating resonance between the two plates of your instrument. So the more you keep that string ringing and ringing and ringing, the bow moving fluidly, you are now getting that gorgeous resonance where your fiddle will sing. Okay, so... <laughs> my note you can hear the resonance in the instrument still working and that's what I want you to work on on today I keep saying this week so focus on are you singing and if you're not sure record yourself that's the best way to start and then apply your bow technique from there have an awesome day